guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nadia and this is the place where we get real. And today we're gonna get real about getting horny, as in getting turned on, getting in the mood because so many of you come to this channel searching for how to get horny. I know that because I can see in the back of my YouTube, YouTube shows me analytics, it shows me what you all are searching for and I can see so many of you are searching for this. So I'm gonna give you what you want. So make sure you keep on watching. Guys, gals, non-binary people, you're getting yourself in the mood. Don't want to be really curling them like this. Let me start that again. <laughs> Can I get anything right? So first things first, what does it actually mean to be horny? Well, to be horny simply means to be turned on, to be sexually aroused. And you will know when you are sexually aroused because you will start to feel warm, tingly, just really nice, delicious sensations downtown. You'll just start feeling really, really good. Now, there are a few necessities that you need to be able to even begin the task of getting yourself horny. One of the number one things is being relaxed. If you are stressed, it is very, very difficult to get sexually aroused. This is because there is a connection between our brains and our genitals. If our brains are freaking out about maybe things that are going on with school or work, or other things that you've got going on in your life, it's very hard for our genitals to relax enough to start feeling all those nice, feel-good feelings. Basically, being sexually aroused is almost like the opposite of being tense. If you are someone with a vagina, your vagina has muscles. So when you feel tense, and you know sometimes you'll feel really stressed and you'll feel like your shoulders and your neck will just get so tight and tense, your vagina will do the same thing. The muscles in your vagina will get tight and tense. And that is not what you want for getting in the mood. What you want for getting in the mood is all of those muscles relaxing. And we want them relaxed because if you are going to go on to have sex, whether that means having sex with someone else who may be going to penetrate your vagina with their fingers or a penis or a dildo, or if you're gonna be having sex with yourself and penetrating yourself with your fingers or a dildo, you want those muscles to be relaxed. When those muscles aren't relaxed, any kind of penetration is going to be uncomfortable and maybe even painful. If you do experience any kind of discomfort or pain when being penetrated, that is your body's way of letting you know you are not turned on and you should absolutely stop and go back to working on doing some of the things that are gonna get you in the mood and do not forge ahead with penetration before your muscles are relaxed. So that's what we wanna do. We wanna get you into a state of relaxation. To be able to get yourself in the mood, you already need to be in a relaxed mood. So just a few quick things that you can do to just get yourself in the best chances of being able to get horny are doing things that would naturally relax you. So dimming the lights, we know that turning the lights down can have a de-stressing effect on the brain. We also know that playing music can be really de-stressing for the brain. So playing some songs that make you feel really good. And we also know that being comfortable is really important. So get in a really warm, comfortable spot, whether that's in your bed or lying on the couch or even having like a delicious warm bath, just somewhere where you feel comfortable. If you are feeling cold or you're feeling tense or you're feeling overheated, it's gonna be very, very difficult for you to get aroused. So make sure you've got the temperature and the lighting and all of those things right. Now, once you've done that, you are in a good state to be able to start the process of getting horny. So here are a few of my favorite things to get in the mood that might also help you get in the mood too. This one is probably the most obvious one. Porn is really, really helpful for getting us in the mood because it's showing us lots of sexy things. And the great thing about porn is you can watch something that is specifically arousing for you. There are all different types of porn and you can explore and find the thing that excites you. You might be excited by watching a couple 
make love. Or you might be excited by watching multiple people having sexual contact. Or you might be excited by watching someone on their own having solo sex. You can explore these things through porn because porn has anything that you can think of is represented in porn. So often we judge and shame ourselves simply because we live in a society where people don't really talk about sex. People don't really talk about the things that turn them on. And so we naturally assume that thing that turns me on must be like really weird. I must be a total pervert. When actually probably most of our friends fantasize about or watch that thing on porn themselves. So porn can be a really great help for that. But obviously make sure you are of legal age and also watch porn where you can that is actually really ethical good porn i really strongly recommend a platform called cheeks i actually talked about it in one of my last videos i cannot link to it below because youtube will obviously not allow me to link to an adult site but you can go to google and literally just type in cheeks and it will come up i also have a discount code with them if you want to sign up and pay for your porn so that the people who are performing in that porn you can know are being properly paid for the work they are doing and i will share that discount code with you in the description below this video isn't sponsored but they have been a previous partner of mine i love the porn they create it's really good quality porn and it includes all different types of bodies and sexualities and genders so i would highly recommend checking it out one of my absolute foolproof fail safe ways to get horny each and every time when i'm not feeling in the mood is simply to use a vibrator and that's because vibrators encourage blood flow down to the genitals and as soon as we start getting increased blood flow down to our genitals that's when it starts feeling really really good and when your genitals are feeling that warm delicious tingly sensation i was describing describing earlier in the video, that is a sign that you are getting in the mood. You are getting horny. So vibrators are a great way to sort of hack your way there. If you're feeling like you just can't get your mind into the game, you can use a vibrator to do that. What I would recommend though, if you're not already aroused, is that you use plenty of personal lubricant. If your body is not aroused, chances are high that your vulva is going to be dry. It's not going to be wet. Getting wet and lubricated is one of the first signs that we are horny, we're turned on, we're sexually aroused. And when you start putting anything on the vulva dry, it can actually have the opposite effect of turning you on. It can feel uncomfortable and you can even create micro tears, which are tiny little tears that are microscopic. You can't see them with the eye, but they are happening in the tissue and that can be really uncomfortable. It can cause stinging and burning and just not be fun. So get yourself some personal lubricant, just like some KY jelly, something you can get from the drugstore. If you are really, really unable to get your hands on some personal lubricant, then you can also just use your own saliva. Saliva is a perfectly fine stand-in for personal lubricant. Put that on your genitals before you put the vibrator on there so that you have something to help ease that vibration along and create that smooth transition when the vibrator is going onto your vulva area. And then you're gonna get that vibration, it's gonna get the blood flow down there, and then you will naturally feel yourself starting to get aroused and in a very horny mood. Now this one is more so for people who have partners if you are in a relationship and this one works particularly well for people with vulvas and it really works because it creates a sense of anticipation and there's been research done around the way that people with vaginas get turned on. And one of the things that has come up in the research is that there is a really strong connection with the brain and in particular, creating a sense of anticipation in our heads when we're anticipating something is going to be happening helps us to get in an excited, aroused mood. So sexting is a great way to do that because you can build up a lot of anticipation and excitement throughout the course of an entire day. So you can kiss your partner goodbye when they go to work or they go off to school or whatever they do. And then throughout the day, just be exchanging sexy little texts about the things you want to do to each other. Or even just recall the last time that you had sex. Describe what it was like. Describe how their lips felt when you were kissing them. Describe how hard or wet 
or delicious they felt or tasted. Describe the smells, describe the experience in as much detail as you can and text each other back and forth through the day. What you're gonna find is by the time you see each other that afternoon or that evening, you are going to have so much anticipation that as soon as you kiss or touch your partner, it's going to be really easy for you to get aroused and get in the mood. So I hope you will return here again and again and see me as kind of like a big sister that's telling you the things about sex that you just didn't get told growing up and hopefully I can fill in those gaps for you because I honestly wish that there was a resource like this when I was growing up and I really help, I really, I really hope I'm getting super tongue tied. It is the end of a long day for me, but I'm keeping it real. I really hope that these videos can really be a safe place for you to come when you have questions or curiosities about sex. And just to be reminded that you are not alone and you absolutely have nothing to feel ashamed about. If you have questions or fantasies or curiosities, this will always be a safe space. So those are just a few super quick things. I hope they help you out. If you have something that makes you horny every time, share it in the comment section down below. Please obviously be respectful in the comments. And also if you want more tips on ways to get turned on and in the mood, then give this video a thumbs up because that lets me know you want more of this content. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I would love you to join my sex positive family. I am here with new sex education content every single week and make sure you hit that notification bell as well and that also goes for existing subscribers if you don't hit that notification bell then youtube actually won't let you know when my videos are going live so whether you are new here or you are a long time subscriber go beneath the video hit the bell now and it's going to let you know when my next video comes up and i'll see you all in the next video thanks for watching Mwah.